On different Tesla forums, I have seen that people complain that uh, they don't have the uh, energy capacity available for driving that uh, they thought they have. Now, I have an 85 kilowatt hours uh, battery pack, and uh, normally mm, you say that you have 74 to 78 uh, watt kilowatt hours capacity available for driving. That's because you have uh, about five kilowatt hours available for what we call brick protection to protect the battery. And then uh, some other kilowatt hours goes to uh, different other things. So what you should uh, think that you have is between 74 to uh, 78 when you have an 85 kilowatt hours uh, battery pack. But it is not that strange that people get confused, because yesterday I charged my car to 100%, and today I have driven it uh, down to 0%, and you can see that the car says that I have only used 69.9 uh, kilowatt hours. So you should think that I have only got 70 uh, kilowatt hours available in the battery out of uh, the 85 kilowatt hours. But now I have charged my car from zero, you can see that here, from zero percent and to hundred percent. And now check out here. Uh, the car has charged 77.7 .7 kilowatt hours. So the difference is actually because what the car shows here in the instrument panel is only the energy usage come on focus there you go there's only the energy usage for driving the difference between the 69.9 and the 77.7 is what the car uses on uh, heating and the lights and music and all other stuff so my car uh, has driven 70,000 kilometers or 44,000 miles and uh, the energy I get in uh, the car when I charge it from 0 to 100 is 77.7 .7 kilowatt hours and that is actually pretty good so I haven't had much degradation.